What's up, YouTube? I'm getting ready to install a direct vented propane fireplace. It's gonna be exciting. It's been here for a while, but I didn't have the spray foam in. And Anyhow, I'm able to be inside the shop today and I got the man lift, so I'm ready to cut a hole in the roof. Let me show you the heater. So here's the heater. Still got this protective wrapper on it. And there's the cap, so you can see on the cap, you got the hot air goes out through that small pipe, and the vent air comes in through the large pipe, and it picks up the heat from the smaller pipe on the way down. So it's pretty efficient. I think with the bus properly ins insulated, this thing might heat the whole thing. But that is yet to be seen. But anyhow, I am going to try to get this temporarily installed and functioning, and then I'll take it back down when I spray foam again. Okay, so basically, that's the kitchen area over there, and that's the living room area kind of over there, and that fireplace is going to go right there in between them. So living room area, the front of the bus, fireplace, kitchen area, gonna be able to enjoy it from both situations. So Shelly wants it up as high on this wall as I can put it, say, you know, to meet the specs. And that makes the flue to get a flat spot on the roof, it came out far enough and X marks the spot. So I'm gonna drill a little pinhole through there. Now, we're committed now. Now there's a hole in your roof. I gotta do something with it. <laughs> All right, here we go. There we go, there's our little hole. That's where we're gonna put our stack. Yeah, I got a hole in there. Well, I can see that fits easy enough. And the three inch hole that they recommended cutting, it has clearance for that, or for the pipe, to, for the other pipe to slide up over it. So I'm gonna use this thing, this ceiling grommet as a template to where I'm gonna drill my holes down. So now I know that's where that goes. So that's going to be centered in the hole like that. Okay, got that marked out. So I drilled these holes out because it's made for it's made for going in the wood deck of a boat. I'm going to put it in there with quarter inch bolt. All right, guys. I went up there and I drilled all the other holes through that. It was made to go on a wood deck and it had the rubber grommet underneath. So I just drilled it out. Now I'm gonna bolt it down instead of screwing it down. And I think when I pull the bolts down, it'll squish out that rubber enough. I have to go get my helper. I went to get Shelly to hold these, but the rubber grommets holding them. I'm not pulling them all the way down all at once. So are you saying you didn't need me? I didn't need you, I guess. Not for this. People, he needs me after all. I feel so honored. I'm needed. Okay, do the, do the front, middle. Front, middle. Okay. Dum, dum. We're going up. Oh, it's so cute. I love it. So it's got that rubber gasket underneath it, and these are down tight. I think they're watertight too, but 
I'm just going to give it Sika Flex around a, a little bead around the edge just to. Just for security, huh? Just to discourage any water from trying to get underneath it. Well, I'm back at it this morning. I'm trying to get this fireplace installed. I got the, the chimney thing all in, the cap and all. The hardest part of this job has been getting this protective wrapper off because everywhere it goes underneath the screw to loosen the screw so you can get it out from underneath it. And if you loosen these screws here on the front to get it out from underneath it, the nuts are in behind and you they spin. Everywhere else it's had the lock nuts or rev nuts, whatever, and all I've had to do is loosen the screws and let them up. But seriously, this has been the hardest part of the job is getting this wrapper out from underneath those screws. So if that's all the harder it gets, I'm okay with that. It's a beautiful thing. And I understand why they left this wrapper on here, but okay, I got all that wrapper off. My goodness. I have to say, this thing is well built. It's awesome. It already has the thing. All I got to do is screw it to the wall and put the flue on it. Okay, so I got it up on the wall, and this is a no-brainer because it, it just pushes up into that one and pushes down into this one. It said in the instructions to make sure that it was all the way down, which was pretty obvious, and are connected to the wall with, and it has the heat shield. So all I gotta do is run the gas line up. But I gotta drill a hole in the floor. I'm a little bit dubious about it. I'm like going, oh, my nice, beautiful floor. But anyhow, I'm gonna run the gas line on the inside of the wall and then I'm gonna use the cover that goes over it. So if I have any problems, I can just remove the cover and access the gas line. So I think I can calculate off this rib and just come over 11 inches. So I'm gonna go down below and see. But I'm a little nervous about it. He's going under, people. So. It's, this is it's between these two ribs, right? Yep. This rib and that rib? Yep. So it's basically between those two windows following the ribs down. I'm showing them what you're measuring and looking at. <laughs> well, the problem is there, there's a flange here that I could, you know, I don't know how close I am to that how far that flange, but I think that flange is the depth of the... The wall? That outside wall. Anyway, to get a, to drill a hole, I gotta be out here. And you know what, the easiest thing to do is go get a long drill bit and I'll drill a pilot hole through here. Yeah, come up from the bottom instead of down through the top. Yep. Well, that was uneventful. I just used a hole saw and drilled. Oh, I used that long bit over there to mark the spot as a pilot hole. Then I just switched over to this hole saw and uh, drilled from the top down and from the bottom up. That's where the gas is gonna come in. You can see down below. Okay, we got it. We hooked up, <clears throat> the, hooked up the gas down here. We just made a little copper elbows to get the rubber hose away from the furnace. And we were able to stay back by the floor like we wanted, or the wall like we wanted to. Yeah, so I got a shroud that was in the bus that went down the side, so it'll make a great cover for that hose down there. So let's see if it'll light. Oh, wait, we have it temporarily hooked up to a battery that Joe had here. So... Yeah, and I checked all the propane fittings with soapy water, so we're all good. So it should just be a matter of pushing it in. Lighting it down here. Woo! There we go. We have ignition and then hold it for five seconds. There you go. Wow. Oh, we have a baby fireplace. And now it's supposed to. You can't 
can't even hardly see the flame, but there is flame in there, people. You can see it flickering once in a while. Yeah, it's so daylight. That it didn't yeah, it's so bright and warm here today that... So it's supposed to get a little stinky the first time we burn it. Which is good. We've got all the windows open so we can air and the bus our up. fan. Which is so quiet. It really is. That's not even on high. That's on high. Oh, that, that is, oh, that is high. This is on low. You can't hear the fan. No. Over top of the flame on low. You can feel it. Oh, yeah. <coughs> what do you think? It's awesome. I mean, that's all got to be firmed up, but I thought it was good to get it in here so we can use it while it's cold and see since we insulated. Wow, just standing here, I can feel heat coming off of her. It's incredible. So we're really grateful for this um, nice, beautiful day here today so we can open the bus up and um, get that first burn smell out of it. Okay, guys, we thought we'd share with you what our little propane heater looks like at, in the dark at night so you can really see the flame in it. So hold on, let's go check it out. So it's pretty dark out here other than there's um, lights on the shop, but the bus is kind of dark. You can kind of see Randy in there. So let's get inside. Oh, there's a glow around you, baby. Come and snuggle up by the fire with me, baby. <laughs> it's not quite warmed up like it was this afternoon yet. But doesn't it look oh, beautiful in the dark? So, um, we just want to thank you guys for following us along on this journey and know that we love sharing it with each and every one of you guys. And just catch us in the next one. Bye.